Let's go to a fun story. This dude who tried to rob a That was a fun story. This dude tried to rob a house and it had an 82-year-old bodybuilder living inside of it. <laughs> oh, a woman, an 82-year-old female bodybuilder. Excuse my sexist brain for assuming it was a man. Thank you. An 82-year-old woman found herself in danger after she says a man broke into her home until she turned the tables on the intruder. She was getting ready for bed Thursday night, just after 11 p.m., so Thanksgiving night. No, because these are the top stories from the last three months, so I have no idea. It's not recent. He was outside and saying, please call an ambulance. I'm sick. I'm sick. She called the police but wouldn't let him inside. Then, she says, is when he became angry. I hear a loud noise, she said. I'm thinking, what the heck was that? Now the young man's in my home. He broke down the door. She is in it, but he didn't know she was an award-winning bodybuilder who works out at the YMCA almost every day. He picked oh the wrong house God. to break into. Murphy says it was dark. You're getting, you're getting to some juicy stuff. Okay. Murphy says it was dark, so she was able to hide as the suspect walked through her house. She acted quickly and grabbed the closest thing she could find. I picked up the table and I went to work on him, she said. The table broke. And when he's down, I'm jumping on him. She says the suspect was injured. She ran and grabbed a bottle of shampoo and started pouring it on him. I grabbed the shampoo, she said. Guess what? He's still on the ground, in his face, all of it, the whole thing. I got the broom. He's pulling the broom. I'm hitting him with the broom. Finally, the officers arrived. The man was sent to the hospital, and Murphy was applauded by first responders. The officers that came wanted to go on my front porch and take selfies with me. So Murphy says she can deadlift 225 pounds. So, dude, the shampoo's diabolical. Shampoo in your eyes? I can't believe she went there. I mean, okay, tried to break into this house. Now an old lady's kicking my ass. She just picked up a fucking table and slams it on me like, what? This is home alone? And then she starts hitting him with the broom. He's still on the ground. She says he didn't even get up. He was laying there hurt. She comes back with the shampoo and just goes eyes full of shampoo. And she's 82, so you know it's not like that kid's friendly one. It's tough. I mean, this sounds like some wet bandit stuff. Yeah, this, this sounds is home like alone. The this is home alone. <laughs> revert. This is old lady home alone. Yeah. Um, that's th what this story is missing is the dimensions of the suspect. And if they were like on drugs or anything, A, would be hilarious. What if this actually was just a sick person that needed an ambulance? <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. They just they just left. Well, that she, out of the well story. she got she she beat the hell out of him. She <laughs> she got him the help he needed. She, he uh, his bladder was about to pop. He died <laughs> shortly after. No, I just need you to suck my bladder, Jim. I. You know, normally I like to pin the fake sexist things on you, but I'll I'll take it on this one, and I'm going to call a little bit of bullshit, and I'm going to say this was local advertising for the YMCA. Those slimy, cheating fucks. Wow. Yeah. This is good advertising for the YMCA, because they're like, not only is this just for men, this is for women There's as well. There's this old lady that can work out, and she can fight off people from her home. You should join the YMCA. Do you want to blind intruders with shampoo? Do you own soap and a broom? Come down to the YMCA. <laughs> and clean, and clean, clean our fucking bathroom. Win-win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay.